vote counting machine operations. Retrieve the VCM from its box. Place the VCM properly on top of the ballot box. Show to the public that the VCM slots labeled A and B, where the main and backup SD cards are individually stored and sealed. These slots shall remain sealed throughout the FTS procedure. Check the VCM box for the following peripherals. Checklist of the VCM contents. Power cord. Main SD and backup SD cards. Eight rolls of thermal paper. One installed, seven inside the VCM box. Three sets of roll pins for VCM operation. Three sets for re-zero pins. Three I buttons for chairman, member, and poll clerk. USB modem with SIM card and one contingency SIM card. Four cleaning sheets. 18 marking pens. Two pieces sealing sticker. One on FTS and one on Election Day. Battery and battery cable. Headphones. Check if the official thermal paper roll is properly installed. Retrieve the battery. Connect the cables to the battery. and connect the other end of the battery cable to the VCM power port. Connect the power adapter to the power port of the VCM and plug the other end of the adapter to the electrical outlet. Turn on the VCM by pressing the power button found at the back of the VCM. The machine will display the loading screen and the device information. Wait until the VCM displays the message. The chairman shall place his or her I button on top of the I button receptacle, applying slight pressure to it. This will appear on the screen. Select Chairman Profile. When this message is displayed, enter the roll pin of the Chairman. After successful authentication, the VCM will return to the main menu. After unboxing the VCM and performing the initialization and authentication procedure, the certified IT-capable EP member shall do the following. In the main menu, select Diagnostics option. Scroll down the Diagnostics menu and select Run All option. The VCM will now run the diagnostic tests on the following. Audio Cast and Return button Ethernet Transmission Printer Power Touch screen Scanner USB port To test the VCM speaker, the VCM will play a sound. The VCM will then display the message. Press yes if you heard the sounds or no if you didn't. After checking the speakers, the VCM will test the headphones. If the headphones are not connected, the VCM will automatically display. Upon prompt, connect the headset to the audio port. The VCM will automatically play a sound and the screen will show the message. Press yes if you heard the sound or no if you didn't. After audio diagnostics, 
the VCM will display the message. The VCM will automatically proceed to the testing of the cast and return buttons. When prompted, press the green button with check mark located on the upper right beside the screen. Press the red button with the cross mark located below the green button after the next prompt. When the test is successful, the VCM will display the message. The VCM will then perform the Ethernet diagnostic test. Plug the Ethernet cable. If the testing is successful, this message will be shown on the screen. Transmission diagnostic will now be performed by the VCM. It will display the message. The following messages will appear in this sequence. If the first transmission attempt failed, it will automatically retransmit again to the central server with the message appearing on the screen. If transmission diagnostics is successful, this message will appear on the screen. The VCM will then proceed to printer diagnostic. At this point, the VCM will display this message while simultaneously printing the image on the thermal paper. After printing the image, check if the printed image is the same as the image appearing on the screen. Press yes if it was correctly printed or no if it wasn't. The VCM will now perform power diagnostic test. It will first test the battery charger connection. When prompted, disconnect the power cord of the VCM. After disconnecting the power cord, the VCM will display the message. Connect the power cord to the VCM, then disconnect the battery. The VCM will then display the message. After successful power diagnostic, the message Power Source Unit Diagnostic was successful will be displayed on the screen. However, if unsuccessful, the message Power Diagnostic has been partially or completely cancelled will appear. The VCM will now perform touch screen diagnostic test with the following instructions. Press the mark on top left corner. Press the blinking circle on the screen. Press the mark on top right corner. Press the mark on bottom right corner. Press the mark on bottom left corner. Press Done when completed. The VCM will now proceed to Scanner Diagnostic Test. Before feeding one FTS ballot in the VCM, wait for this message. Insert the ballot. The scanner will then perform the following tests. After checking the scanner, the VCM screen will display the image of the ballot. You may press the Previous button to see the front image of the ballot or press Next button to see the back image of the ballot. You may also press Plus button to zoom in on the image or Minus button to zoom out. Check if the image of the ballot on the screen is the same as the physical ballot. To continue the test, press the Back button. Press Yes if the image on the screen corresponds to the physical ballot, or No if it does not. If the scanner passed all of the foregoing tests, the VCM will display the message. The VCM will now automatically return to the Diagnostic Menu screen and display a check mark on scanner. If unsuccessful, it will be marked with a cross mark. If no FTS ballot is inserted, the VCM will display the message. The VCM will now perform USB Ports Diagnostic Test and the following instructions will appear on screen. Insert USB device in the upper USB port. If the device is already inserted, remove and insert it again. Follow the same procedure for the lower port. Upon completing the USB port diagnostic test, the VCM will display the message. The VCM will return to the main screen of the diagnostic menu. 
and display a check mark on USB ports. After performing all the diagnostic tests, the VCM will automatically print the diagnostic report. Detach the printed diagnostic report and place it inside the envelope provided for the purpose. If some tests were skipped or unsuccessful, the VCM shall display the message. Click the Done button to return to the Diagnostics menu and click the X button, found in the bottom left part of the screen, to return to the main menu. On the main menu, select Open Voting. When this message appears, enter the roll pin of the chairman. While the VCM is printing the initialization report, the following message will appear. Take note that the report should show zero vote for each candidate including the graphic information, region, province, municipality, barangay, polling center, clustered precinct, precinct in a cluster, machine ID, clustered precinct ID. VCM status, number of regular voters, number of voters who voted, and number of valid ballot cast. After printing the initialization report, the VCM will display the message. Detach the initialization report. The chairman, third member, and poll clerk, including the representatives of the political parties, candidates, or citizens' arms present, shall affix their signatures thereon and place the initialization report in the envelope provided for the purpose. Click the Done button and the VCM will automatically return to the main menu. After which, click the Go to Voting button. The VCM will automatically print the status report and will then display the message. Click Done button. The VCM is now ready to accept ballots and its screen will display the message Insert Ballot The VCM will now interpret and process the ballot. After processing, the VCM shall display the following messages. Your vote is being printed. While simultaneously printing the voter's receipt, the messages depositing the ballot in the box and your vote has been cast will be displayed in the screen, respectively. the 10 voters have cast their votes, close the voting by performing the following procedures. The chairman shall place his or her I-button security key on top of the I-button receptacle and applying slight pressure there too. Select Members When the VCM asks for the user to authenticate, select BEI Member. Input the role pin of the BEI Member. A message, the user BEI member was authenticated successfully, will appear on the screen and the VCM will return to the previous display. Now select BEI poll clerk and input his or her roll pin. After authentication, the VCM will return to the main menu. Choose close voting. After choosing close voting, the VCM will now ask for the roll pin of the BEI member and the poll clerk to confirm the execution of close voting. Input roll pin of the BEI member. Now input the roll pin for the poll clerk. The VCM will now prompt to add signatures to the election results. To add signatures, press Next. The VCM will require the security key password and will display the message. The chairman should place his or her I button on top of the I button security key receptacle and apply a slight pressure thereon. The VCM will display the message. The chairman should now enter his or her roll pin. The VCM shall thereafter display the message. When asked by the VCM to add another signature, the poll clerk should press Yes 
and place his or her eye button on the key receptacle. When prompted, he should now enter his or her roll pin. Follow the same process to enter the signature of the BEI member. After successfully adding the signature of BEI member, the VCM will ask again if another signature to the election result will be added. Press No. The VCM will display the message, changing the voting machine state to Closed. And will automatically print the 8 copies of the national returns and 8 copies of the local returns. Detach the election returns and place them in the envelope provided for the purpose. After printing the 8 copies of national returns and 8 copies of local returns, it will automatically print the statistical report and the VCM will display the message. Choose No and the message, Transmit results has been partially or completely cancelled, will appear. Click the Done button. The VCM will then print the 22 copies of national returns and the 22 copies of local returns. If you want to cancel the printing, open the printer port and press the Skip button on the screen. Press the Done button when the VCM displays the successful closing of polls to complete the voting process. The voting process has been completed. The VCM will return to the main menu and is now in closed state. Now we start the re-zeroing process. From the main menu, the chairman should select Utilities, then choose the re-zero option. When asked for the password, the chairman should input his re-zero pin. The VCM will now prompt to confirm the deletion of the ballots. Press the Yes button to start the re-zero. When the VCM has ensured that the vote counters are set to zero, the VCM will now proceed to the printing of the ReZero report. After the printing of initialization report, the message, The system needs to shut down, will appear on the screen. Press the OK button to shut down the screen. Follow the previous procedures for VCM operations on Unboxing the VCM and its peripherals Initialization and Authentication Open Voting FTS Close Voting FTS Remember, unlike in the FTS, you will only close the machine at the end of the voting hours. After printing the 8 copies of national returns and 8 copies of local returns, it will automatically print the statistical report and the VCM will display the message, Choose Yes. The VCM will then display. Once the VCM detects the presence of a transmission medium, it will automatically transmit the data. The VCM will display the message. This indicates successful transmission. Similar messages are expected for transparency and central server. If transmission is not successful, check the transmission device if properly connected, then retransmit the results. From the Manage Poll screen, press Retransmit Results. From the Transmit Results menu, press All Servers button to transmit results to CMBOC, Transparency and Central Server. The VCM will then print the 22 copies of national returns and the 22 copies of local returns. After printing the reports, the VCM will display the message. Voting process has been completed. The VCM will return to the main menu and is now in closed state. From the election menu footer, press Reports. 
Click the down arrow on the right side to reveal Print Audit Log button. Press the Print Audit Log button. The following will be displayed on the screen. Click the Check button on the bottom right of the screen to start printing. From the main menu, press Write Protect Data. The chairman should now enter his or her role PIN. The VCM will prompt the user to confirm the lockup of the external SD memory with message. Press Yes to confirm the lockup of the SD memory. The VCM will lock the backup memory, display a message informing about the result of the operation, and will automatically shut down. Do not forget to remove the main SD card from slot A and place it inside the envelope. The backup SD card shall not be removed from the VCM, and the cover of slot B shall remain sealed.